Thanks for watching Crokino Center. This is the final game of the 2019 CN City Crokino Classic in Owen Sound. And final game of this final four round robin. Robert Bonnet sitting in first place. Andrew Hudson sitting tied for third at the moment. Top two move on to the finals. The situation, Andrew Hudson needs a 6-2 victory or better. And he will jump ahead of Robert Bonnet claiming a spot in the finals. Robert Bonnet can do anything to avoid that, so scoring three points or more, he will maintain the spot that he's currently holding in the finals. Advantage so far in this round to Hudson, open board here, makes the 20. Good string of 20s here. On a shot there, a little bit offline, but it was just enough speed on it that the, the hole was able to drag it in for that 20. Hutchinson misses, but he misses just on his final shot, so only one chance here for Robert Bonner to get the takeout and the 20. He needs a follow through here. Really got the disc moving there, but only enough for a takeout. Hutchinson needs to remove this black disc for the two points. He thought about it from two different angles there, eventually settled on one and successfully made the shot for the two, first two points for Hutchinson. Not quite sure that to both these players really know exactly what they need to make it to the finals. Of course, it's a little bit easier for us sitting back. We can do the math ourselves. But uh, if Hutchison does or is aware that he needs a 6-2 victory, there's a nice little breathing room that he hasn't given up that one round he can lose on the very first round. Although he's up against it here in the second round without the hammer. He's just sitting in front of a peg, so Hutchison could have tried to bounce back 20. Instead, settling for the takeout and hoping to get a 20 opportunity later in the round. Bonnet gets a takeout and is in a pretty good spot with that disc. Bonnet doesn't seem like he uh, likes this position, but it's uh, somewhat favorable for him as long as he can get this takeout. That's a nice spot to roll to as well. Hutchinson going for broke there, trying to get a bounce off a peg that was favorable. Said he loses the shooter. Open ward for Robert Bonnet. Bonnet misses long. So again, Hutchinson trying to get a take in the 20. Oh yeah, nice shot. Critical shot for Andrew Hutchinson. Finally getting the break he was looking for in this second round. Pressure on Bonnet to make this open 20. Well short. Loses the shooter off the board. Hutchinson making up for that uh, open 20 miss that he had on his very first shot. He's clinched a point here in this round. And misses long, but again, just one chance here for Robert Bonner to get a takeout in 20 to tie the round. This is an even harder follow through than what he saw in that very first round. And he does not get the 20. So Andrew Hudson. He said he needed a 6-2 victory or better, and he's got four points. So he's got the hammer coming up in this next round. If he can get the two points with the hammer, he will have a spot in the Owen Sound final. Bonnet starting out with an open 20. Hudson responding. I just get that 20 to go. Bonnet had the best start out of all four players in this final four round robin. But if he cannot score at least three points in these next two rounds, you'll see his spot in the finals evaporate. He gets a miss out of Hudson here. So he's got a slight edge with a 20 advantage, just gets that takeout. 
Russian trying to set up for an angle ricochet here. I think he'll go for it here, trying to get the 20 here. Oh, just misses. See if Bonnet tries to respond with the 20. Yeah, nice shot from Robert Bonnet. 220 edge should be pretty comfortable at this stage. Although Hutchinson able to put a little bit of pressure on him with that open 20. Good answer from Bonnet. Secures a point. Bonnet can make this open 20. He'll get the two points. Yes, Robert Bonnet gets it. So it will be two points for Bonnet. And that means Robert Bonnet just needs one point in this final round, which he does have the hammer for. One point. And he will be in the finals here in Owen Sound. Andrew Hutchinson needs to steal two points against the hammer to take that spot. Good start for Hutchinson. When Bonnet misses on the very first shot. Hutchinson with the advantage. If he can play defense well for these next seven shots, he'll be in the finals. That's pretty good. for Hutchinson. Bonnet trying to roll his disc in between the pegs there, trying to make the takeouts a little bit tougher. Try to get a mistake. Good shot from Hutchinson, although I wonder if Bonnet will try to leave his black disc outside of the 15 circle and try to hide. No, he pushes towards the middle. No hiding for Bonnet here. He's looking at offense, really. We haven't seen Bonnet be successful on a follow through yet in this game. He needs one here, though, if he can get it. Not going for it, but past the hold. Hutchinson has done well here, made every takeout so far and really left very few opportunities for a 20. Bonnet getting a, some action off that peg there, getting a disc a little bit closer to the 20 hole. Hutchinson could possibly go for a 20, but that's definitely not his MO at this stage, and that's a great rollout from Hutchinson. To the outside, there's no chance for a 20 on this particular shot for Bonnet, so he has to do something here to just give him an opportunity on his one final shot to try to score a 20. Certainly no opportunity here. Peeling the disc off the board might be a, well, would be one way to try to set it up. Maybe a takeout and try to bounce back off a peg. Yeah, just try to pull it back off a peg and set up for an angle ricochet on his final shot. But didn't really get much movement on it. I think Hutchinson can get, just get a takeout and stick there. Yeah, again, just no spot. He's really closed off the angle and just suffocated the offense for Bonnet in the fourth round. And there's not enough on it. It knocks the camera there. But uh, Andrew Hutchinson, great defensive play in that last round. He gets the 6-2 victory that he desperately needed, and he'll be moving on to the finals in Owen Sound.